Thank you for joining us today for the Key Lang event of LCS 21, the future USS Minneapolis St. Paul. LCS 21 will be the second vessel to bear the name of the Twin Cities. And like her predecessor, a nuclear attack submarine, the new Minneapolis St. Paul will be tough, resilient, and ready for her call to service. The future USS Minneapolis St. Paul will share the Twin Cities famous work ethic and drive for innovation. The ship will be tasked with carrying out anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, and mine countermeasures, along with many other missions essential to our global security. In the days when hulls were built of oak and sails made of canvas, the wooden keel was the bottommost structural element and foundation of a ship's strength. The keel laying event itself marked not only the start of construction, but also the first step of establishing that strength. Shipbuilders would attest to that strength and trueness of the keel by engraving their initials onto the keel. Today, keel laying marks the ceremonial beginning of the ship's life with the start of erection of a prefabricated module. While shipbuilding methods have changed over the years, the spirit of the keel laying ceremony endures. Today, we acknowledge this important milestone in the life of the newest littoral combat ship, the future USS Minneapolis St. Paul, and celebrate a monumental leap forward in strength, capability, and flexibility of the Navy's surface. must be able to compete, deter, and win, and that we will work with allies and partners to preserve peace through strength. It is that sense of pride of service to the nation that we are surrounded by today with the dedicated shipyard workers of Fincantieri Marinette Marine. You are supporting our defense strategy with every weld, braze, and union. I hereby declare that the keel of the future USS Minneapolis-St. Paul has been truly and fairly laid.